Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Now, what does he say? He said, I want you to be ready to battle. 2 Timothy 2 verse 3 says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Endure. In your patience, possess ye your souls. He said, I want you to endure. He said, I don't want you to give up. Look at Luke 21, 19, if you would. Look at Luke 21, 19. Talking about the time of tribulation and persecution for the saints. He said, in your patience, possess ye your souls. You see that? All right, look at Mark 13, 13. In verse number 12, he says the same thing that we read in in Luke 21, it says that brothers shall betray the brother to death and the father, the son, the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Verse 13 of Mark 13 says, And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Now there are folks that come along and say, Well, during this time, in order to be saved, you've got to endure to the end. He's not talking about spiritual salvation. He's talking about possessing your soul. He's talking about not giving up, not being a defeated Christian, not being overwhelmed. He said the strength for the day is mine all the way. All I have to do is follow. He's saying, I don't want you to throw in the towel. I don't want you to be defeated. I want you to endure. I want you to hold up in the battle. I want you to endure. Endure. 